This experiment is called pouring air. Don't be silly. This is called pouring air, and it's a very simple experiment. I would say probably everybody here has all the supplies at home. All you need is two containers. They can be jars, coffee cups, uh, glasses. They just can't be paper or plastic because there's going to be a candle involved and we don't want to burn them. So you're going to put the candle in one container. Uh, any candle will work. A birthday candle would be great. The only thing is you have to make the candle stand up. So if you have one of those kind of short, fat candles, that's great. It'll stand up by itself. I put a piece of clay on the bottom to make mine stand up. And then you're going to light your candle. Notice the candle is not taller than the jar. As long as the candle is shorter than the edge of the jar, this will work. But if your candle sticks way up here, this won't work. The other thing you need is a little bit of baking soda and a little bit of vinegar. And I know a lot of you know that there's a lot of cool things you can do with baking soda and vinegar because they react when you put them together. Who knows the reaction that happens when you mix baking soda and vinegar? Dylan? Um, it explodes. No, it doesn't explode. Um, Jordan? Yeah, it bubbles up. It fizzes and bubbles. Okay, what it's doing is creating a gas, an invisible gas, and that's what we're going to use here. Uh, one of the things I love about this experiment is you don't really have to make any careful measurements. I usually put about two spoonfuls of baking soda in the jar, and then I pour in some vinegar. Now, don't overdo it with the vinegar. All you want to do is make it fizz just up close to the top, but you don't really want it to go over. If you put in enough vinegar to cover the baking soda, that'll be plenty. Now, when I do this, when I pour it in, it's going to start fizzing right away. Notice I'm immediately going to cover the jar because I want to trap the gas inside. So pour, cover, and now I'm trapping the gas inside. I'm going to wait until the gas or the bubbles have stopped popping, and I should have a jar full of invisible gas. And this gas is heavier than air, so you can pour the gas. And I'm going to pour the gas onto the candle and watch the candle. Okay. Now watch this. I'm going to take my lighter and just light it and put it down into the jar. And it doesn't want to burn very much down there because there's some of that gas in there. So let's see if I can pour out the gas that's in there. Light the candle again. I'm holding my hand over this one the whole time to keep some of the gas in there still. Let's see if I have enough in there to put it out again. Oh. And you never saw anything come out, right? Because it's invisible. Can you feel it come out? I can't even feel it. I can't even feel it. It's like it's magic. It's not like, but it is there. And actually, that gas is pushing something out of the jar. Anybody know what it's pushing out? Oxygen. Because oxygen. oxygen is what the candle needs to burn, and I just pushed the oxygen out of the jar.